I think Legendary downloaded the wrong Zelda game. Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. Thorny Fox took monsters on a trampoline and they all had fun. Wait, are we calling Beetle a monster now? I'll allow. The wonderful Thorny Fox took half of Hyrule onto the trampoline, so if you're interested in the full video, I'll leave the link in the description. Duke him out of socks is doing something illegal in TOTK, actual engineering. This is truly lost on me, but Duke explained on Reddit that the curve maps pretty well to an IRL pendulum if it was only experiencing friction from air resistance. Just taking a stroll has made an interesting auto build discovery. First, he hits both panels 9 times. Hitting them 10 times should break them. As expected, the 10th hit breaks it. But what happens if you auto build using the damaged panels? So auto build resets an item's durability. If you're only looking for golden apples, boy does Alistair have a tip for you. Create an auto build using only golden apples. Make sure to cancel your auto build so you get the apples for free. Now for today's war crime of the day. Hmm. I think I've got an idea brewing. No, that won't work. Maybe I could... Nah, unless... I've got it. Jog Sawyer set out to build a realistic Chinook style dual rotor helicopter concept, bit of a mouthful, and while there's definitely a few kinks to iron out, he's had a pretty good crack at it. There's a little bit of lift there.
I bet the US military are frothing at the mouth right now. This little bow cob got hit with the ban hammer. Divlog's using the new spring launcher, except he's up the number of springs. He's running an experiment to see just how high Link can be sent into the air. The answer? 1,370 meters. This is basically a portable Skyview Tower. But what if you repeat the experiment in a low gravity area? One thousand seven hundred and nine meters, so a nice twenty five percent boost. Time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. Introducing our shop makers, Hylian Hulkbuster. I absolutely love the way this thing moves. Wondering what's at the end of the legs? They're shrine crystals, of course. Strangely, the build is surprisingly good at climbing hills. The shrine crystals act like little ice picks to get traction on the angled rocks. Gastium set out to create the least enjoyable experience in TOTK. I'm gonna say he succeeded. Build yourself a tank that can withstand any explosions and you'll never stress in the depths again. Bomb flowers? Don't worry about it, you're good. Cannon blasts? Don't worry about it, you're good. The cockpit is built using the indestructible U-block with sleds placed around it. While explosion proof, a small warning, moblins and bow coblins may be able to hit you with pebbles through the gaps. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.